Hi, how you doing today? This is Keith with another fantastic Star Trek review. Today I'm recording from fabulous downtown Ferndale. It's a lovely city. Uh, today we're going to be reviewing the fourth season, Next Generation episode, uh, Data's Day. Um, it's a fun little episode. It's kind of a follow-up to the second season episode, Measure of a Man, in which uh, Maddox, you may remember, was put Data on trial for his sentience, basically trying to claim that Data was a uh, property of Starfleet and not necessarily a, a, an active enlisted member, but um, Data eventually won that. But as kind of a consolation to Maddox, who Data actually kind of respected his work, he agreed to help him in ways, you know, basically documenting his life so that Maddox can improve his own artificial intelligence program. Uh, and this is, like I said, it's a follow-up to that. We, we uh, get to see just basically a day in the life of Data. Um, we get to see everybody on the ship, all the main cast, from Data's eyes and how he relates to them. Um, great scenes with basically all the supporting cast members. Well, not well the main cast, I should say. You get to see how he relates to Riker and uh, especially his friend Jordy. There was a great scene with Crusher and Data, one of my favorite scenes in the episode, uh, where Crusher is teaching Data to dance. She teaches him tap dancing because Data doesn't tell her he's trying to learn to dance for O'Brien and Keiko's wedding, who Data. I guess has a big part in because uh, they say he introduced the two. Uh, I don't know. I felt that w little aspect was a little forced. I had never really thought of Data and O'Brien being really great friends. But uh, in any event, that was a fun little little piece of trivia, I guess. But uh, it, like overall, it was basically just a fun little episode. Nothing too serious happens in it. There is a minor subplot that involves a Vulcan ambassador who's on her way to the neutral zone in order to work out some sort of treaty or some sort of diplomatic relations with the Romulans. And um, well, they get there fine, so she acts a little weird, but everybody attributes it to just just Vulcans being Vulcan. Uh, eventually they find out that she is a Romulan spy who was planted in the Federation, but it really doesn't amount to much of consequence. Like I said, that was basically just a story that they had to use to tie the whole thing together. Something just going on in the background. The real meat of the story is just seeing Data and all of his, all of his glory. They, they, they show a real big part of how Data's misunderstanding of humanity is. You know, they make a lot of jokes of that through the series, but you never really get to see his thought process, process and why he misunderstands some things the way he does. So it's really, it's really just a lot of fun. It gives a lot of insight into Data as a character. Um, let me think. I've already mentioned one of my favorite parts. I, I uh, one of my uh, one of my other favorite parts was earlier in the episode. He's trying to uh, he's trying to joke around with Jordy because he sees Jordy uh, doing the same playful banter with while he's getting his haircut. So Data walks in the room. He says, "Oh, Jordy asks him. He says, well, you need a haircut too.' He says, "Oh, my hair doesn't need cutting. You lunkhead." <laughs> it was just so out of place, and uh, <laughs> it was just great, fun time. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give this rate a review rating of 7 out of 10. I think it works quite well as a fun episode. You know, like I said, nothing too serious happens, nothing of much consequence happens, but, you know, you get great insight all around. So everybody, uh, go check it out, and uh, have a good night.